Hello everyone and welcome to Still Life, a game actually made by the same people who made the Siberia series. And uh, much like, I guess, Siberia 1 and 2, this is going to be a third-person point-and-click adventure game in which I'll be playing an FBI agent who is investigating a series of gruesome, horrible murders. Now, um, recently, as you might know, I completed the Darkfall series, which was a series of point-and-click adventure games, and I want to play another one. I need to, uh, I need to feed my point-and-click fix, and maybe this is the game to do just that. It's been recommended to me numerous times now, and it looks really good, and I'm eager to give it a go. So, without further ado, let's start a new game, and uh, if you reach the end of the video and you want to see a part two, let me know. I might turn this into a series. Hope you enjoy it. Wow, okay. <laughs> what an intro! Welcome to Still Life, everybody, and here we are. Right, this is our cursor, is it? Okay, this steering wheel looking thing. So was it just... Just point and click, apparently. Okay, this is our character down here. Alright. Okay, ah. Alright, so it's context sensitive. It's already reminding me of Siberia 1 and 2. Uh, the less it reminds me of Siberia 3, the better, I suppose. And what's this? Is that like a compass star by any chance? Let's see what happens. I can't leave now. I still have work to do. Right, yeah. We've uh, we've just got here. And it looks like we brought drinks as well, so let's speak with this officer over here. Looks like someone's in dire need of coffee. Hell yeah! <laughs> here you are. Thanks. This gonna hit the spot. You know, you're not like those other suits, Miss McPherson. You're okay in my book. Well, I'm very glad to hear it. Oh, okay, just click. Okay. What do we have? The usual? Right. Yeah, the same old shit. Anonymous phone call, no witnesses, and another dead girl. This one more banged up than the others. When I got here, I figured it was your perp's work, so I didn't bother reporting it to everyone. I, I just called Miller. And again? Besides you, who got here first? Miller did about ten minutes ago. Claire followed a few minutes later. Okay, it seems that... Well, unlike Siberia 3, I suppose, uh, we can sort of have breaks in the conversation just in case we need to take in the information that we've got, or maybe we need to write things down, but we can take the conversation at our own pace, which is quite nice, I suppose. Where's the crime scene? The crime scene is through the entrance, up the stairs and to your right. Okay. Miller will be the chicken shit leaning up against the fridge. <laughs> Miss McPherson, be careful in there. I need a tetanus shot just looking at this place. Right, okay. Ah, well, well, this is slightly different. Right click, all that. Uh, right click, I suppose. So, are you the human popsicle yet? Can you believe this fucking weather? <laughs> I mean, shit, it was 60 yesterday. And can you believe all this goddamn snow, too? Look <laughs> at this shit. 
You know how hard it was getting here. <laughs> Let's keep this conversation going. Miller got here first, huh? Did he do it again? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, Claire is pissed as hell, too. She threw him out into the hallway. Well, okay. I guess I'll head up and see how Miller's doing. Okay, Agent McPherson. You watch yourself in there. Okay. Entry into the crime scene, yeah? Don't suppose there's anything to really do here. I, I don't want to leave yet, of course, so yeah, let's go in and let's investigate, shall we? Alright, okay, we've already got the lamp set up, I see. Graffiti on the walls. Let's just do what I always do and just have a look for a, a slightly different cursor as I sweep the screen, essentially. Okay. Well, yeah, I suppose I should do what he says. I should go upstairs and uh, look for Miller, right? <laughs> look for the chicken shit. <laughs> Is that him leaning against the fridge? I suppose so, right. Okay, I suppose I want to go that way. Can we... right? Oh, we can go down as well. Can we go up anymore? I don't think so. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's go say hello to, to Miller. To the chicken shit. Wow, you remind me of when I was at the academy. One day I decided to run the obstacle course after lunch. I lost everything, even my breakfast. <laughs> it was a gruesome mash of pizza and French toast. I don't think you're helping. If you're trying to help me, <laughs> it's not working. No. Here you are. It might make things pass more smoothly. Then again, maybe not. So what can you tell me? It's our guy's work, all right. The victim's in an old bathtub. She's stuck in ice. I couldn't see much. Thank God. <laughs> but you saw enough. So where's Claire? Old Indian saying, follow stench. Find little pale-faced fat woman. I don't think I know that one. I'm really not in the mood. Sorry. She's in the bathroom. Follow the hallway to the end and it's the door to your left. She's working near the body. I think she needs you to take a look at the rest of the apartment. Here, take the camera. Claire doesn't want me around, so you're gonna have to take pictures too. Okay, fair enough. Ah. Alright, here we are. This is our camera then, is it? Brilliant. Okay. Wonderful. Indeed. <laughs> Um, right, again, we, we're getting this choice. I take it we've got all the information we actually need, but if we choose to, we can continue the conversation and get a little bit more information out of him. Miller, you're going to have to stop trying. You and dead bodies don't mix. I suggest you wait for us next time. We can't risk any more donut-contaminated crime scenes. <laughs> yes, I will, Agent McPherson. Okay. Yeah, let's keep it going. Oh, by the way, stop with the Agent McPherson, please. Just plain Victoria is fine, all right? We'll do, Victoria. Okay. Just Victoria out of McPherson. Curiosity, where did the Martians land this time? I hurled in the toilet. Can we change the subject? Gee, the Martians that landing okay. you to 2 and 0. Oh. Claire must be very happy right now. Actually, no she isn't. I think she wants to kill me. She threatened to tie me to your 4x4 and drag me through the streets. Oh. Take it easy. See you in a bit. Okay. Alright, so he's moved out of the way, and we're getting this icon again. Right, let's have a look. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I suppose much like Siberia, we have our um, own little inventory screen and everything like that. So, yeah, this is our only item right now. It's a camera. Okay. What do we got here? Grab it, I guess, or... I don't know. That doesn't seem to work. I guess we don't need to grab the camera, or... I don't know, is that use the camera? We can look at it, though, apparently. Okay, fair enough. Right, takes high quality pictures, just gives us a, a brief overview of what we're looking at. Zoom in and out. Okay, any details that we need to observe? I don't think so, I think this is just a camera really, isn't it? Yep, yeah, okay, so let's uh, let's back away. Right, so there you go, Victoria McPherson, Special Agent of the FBI. Okay, so that's our inventory, what's this? Coroner's report, oh, so we're already four victims in, I see. Okay, and this is what exactly? Chapter 1, The Anatomy Lesson Prologue. Alright, oh, an overview of the story, I suppose. This, uh, well, this is that, I suppose. This. Ah. Tate, hell yeah, Victoria, here you are. Oh, uh, right. Just uh, a look at the conversations we've already had, just in case we need to 
go over the information again, I suppose. And this... Oh, saving, loading options, all that standard stuff. Um, right, okay. Let's back away. That's pretty cool. Right, since he's just moved out of the way, we probably need to go there and to the left, didn't he say? But I think I saw another way to go by the stairs, so let's actually head back. Yeah, down this way. Is there any way to, to skip or run or anything like that? Double-clicking, holding this down, I don't know. Bloody hell, I think I know what Tate means. I do need a tetanus shot just looking at this place. I absolutely love what they've done here. <laughs> the view is just super. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of sarcasm, I suppose. Right, I guess the roof collapsed. What about this exit door? I guess this isn't going to work. This door's been nailed shut. <laughs> nice work, too. Yeah, hmm, kind of shoddily done, really. But I guess it does the job. Right, okay, so, uh, I guess we're done here. Let's go to the crime scene, right? Let's go back to, uh, let's go back to Chicken Shit Miller. Who <laughs> obviously, uh, doesn't do well with blood. Yeah, so far so good. And yeah, it is reminding me quite a lot of Siberia 1 and 2. Which is, uh, a very good thing, actually. Okay, so this way. Lucy, you have some splaining to do. <laughs> Lucy? Okay, let's see. What? Hang on. Graffiti on the wall? Weird, a clean spot in such a messy place. Wouldn't exactly call that a clean spot, unless you're talking about this bit in the middle. But, um, yeah, I suppose so. Is that blood? Blood. Yeah. It probably belongs to the victim. Fair enough. Okay, another lamp set up here. What's that, a mattress back there? Forensic lamp. Oh, right. This enables us to have a better look around. With the right filter, of course. Of course. Okay. Anything else down here? Uh, yeah, we've got... something. This is a nice pile of junk. Uh, I've seen better. <laughs> right, so what did Miller say? Uh, down the hallway and to the left. So down here, right? Oh, we can go in there. Uh, right. Uh, I guess I'll come back to this, maybe. Oh, we got a rat. Okay, well, I, I don't think that's Claire, so, <laughs> let's see. Alright, nothing on the floor, nothing on the wall. Not really much of a wall to begin with, actually. In here, maybe? No, what have we got here? Dolls hanging from the ceiling, right? Nice Christmas decorations. Yeah, very, very festive. Some more lamps. Um, okay, through here? Let's just have a nice tour of the place. Ah, right, FBI. Okay, this must be, uh, this must be Claire. Do you fancy a coffee? Hello, Clarice. So, what's all the fuss about? Let's see. I have an idiot who throws up at a crime scene. I'm <laughs> understaffed because I'm the only one crazy enough to work during the holidays. I'm freezing my butt off. The body is stuck in ice. And what else? This might actually help. Coffee? Yes, please. It's no wonder you were my best student. Right. Whoa, what's with the freaky exorcist shit? <laughs> Turn your head back round. Alright, let's continue. What can I do to help? Have a look around and gather any evidence that you can find. I've wasted enough time getting this body ready for the meat wagon. You know how they can get pissy. Anyway, I thought I saw some blood stains as I came in. You can start by collecting some of that and then right. look around for more. Remember, always take a picture before you collect something. To help you out, grab the forensic tools from my briefcase in what's left of the kitchen. Once you've collected the evidence, come and help me out in here. Right. You do know I'm a field agent, right? I think this is a little out of my league. Vic McPherson is out of her league? This is a first? Where did that come from? I don't know. I think I need a vacation. <laughs> Sweetie, you can't always catch them on the first three victims. I know, I, I know. I thought it was four. Hmm. Let's continue. Hey, maybe you should take it easy with Miller. Take it easy? This is the second time I have to go through his vomit to see if there's any evidence hidden in the pile. <laughs> take it easy? No, I don't think so. Okay. Thanks for helping out. My pleasure, Clarice. <laughs> I'll stop that. <laughs> Victoria, do not piss this woman off. Right, and there's that symbol again, so I suppose that means there's something added to the journal. I guess the conversation, right? Um, okay. Ah, this is her- this is her case, is it? Fair enough. 
I take it I don't need to take a picture of this, right? Wow, down in one. <laughs> and contaminating a crime scene. Brilliant. Okay, so what have we got here? Cotton-tipped applicators, right? Okay, something else. Uh, clipboard? Something, I don't know. Luminol for the blood, of course. Right, all right. Uh, uh, tweezers, I guess? Oh, and some film, right, for the camera? Okay, and that's that. Oh, there's more? Maybe I should start looking for clues. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll come back later. So let's have a look at all this stuff. What was the, um... Oh, it's a black light filter. Oh, for the for the lamps, right? It's gotta be. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So, we got film. Yeah, 35 millimeter film for the camera. What can we do here? So we, oh, that's a new one. Is that, is that combined? It might be. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. Can we combine any other things? We've got tweezers, luminol for the blood. The black light filter and forensic swabs here for blood or semen samples. Apparently so. Maybe we can just combine them all into like one useful item. I don't know. No, I guess not. Um, well, that's okay. Right. Well, let's back away and let's start investigating, right? What have we got in here? More graffiti. It's bloody ruined this place. Again, just sort of scanning over the screen looking for something to change. There's another one of these lamps. I can't have a look at this one. Um... Let's see. Through here? Maybe... Can I... Yeah, let's see if we can take a picture of the dolls. I guess that's used. Or maybe not. I don't know. I, no, it doesn't seem to be working anyway. Right. Did I see something over here? Or? Oh, it was probably just that. No, hang on. No, it wasn't. No, there's something on this wall. It's another blank spot, I suppose. We've got hair and fiber samples. Oh. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I can't use my hands to collect these. Ah, silly me. I didn't really want to. I just wanted to examine them. But yeah, I, I, I suppose... Um, well, maybe now do I need to use the camera? Ah. Okay, so I can only use things in certain areas, it seems. Yeah? Right, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Take a picture, and then... I can't use my hands to collect these. Of course not, of course not. I was, I was just testing you. Um... Well, probably the tweezers then, right? Yes, I think so. There you go. And there it is, in the evidence, the hair fibre. Fantastic. And uh, we're going to leave the rusty nail where it is, in that board, I think. Brilliant, okay. Is there anything else around here? Is that a horn coming through the wall? Alright, table and chair. More lamps that I can't have a look at. And we can't have a look at the dolls anymore, so let's look elsewhere. I did see some blood on the floor, so maybe we should go back there, right? So there's nothing down here? I don't think so, really. No, let's go back to the um, that patch of blood. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. Ah. Not getting a sample by dipping my finger in No, it. no, no, no. I need a tool. Didn't want to do that. I thought I was just going to examine it and get a bit of a close-up. But check this out. We've got a new symbol up here, which I think means we can use something, right? Because it re resembles the used symbol. So, let's try and take a picture of it. Yeah. Right. I get it. <laughs> I may have been a novice at first, but I think I'm learning pretty quickly. For this, we probably don't need tweezers, right? We probably want a forensic swab. There you go. I like how in-depth this is, to be honest. And there you go. Right, so that's added to my inventory as well, is it? Can we have a look? Blood sample. Right, I guess we can't really tell who it belongs to and, until, you know, all the work's been done later on. Cool. Very cool. Um, okay. Now, let's see. Is this just this junk? Is a nice pile of junk. It certainly is. Can we have a look at this again? I need a tool ah, before yes. I can use this properly. That's okay, I have a tool, and again, that symbol's popped up, so I can use something. That's what I need to look out for, it seems. So, I guess it's got to be the black light filter, right? Right, okay, now let's have a look at maybe the blood again? Do we need to do I don't that? Need to take another sample. No. Or what about, yeah, what about the wall? There's something up with this wall. Ah, oh, there is, definitely. Looks like our perp cleaned up after himself. Did he really? 
Let's test that out, shall we? I mean, we got luminol. We're already using the filter, so it's got to be the luminol, right? Yes, there you go. Yeah, this is good stuff. Anything? All right. Sanctuary. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck indeed? What the fuck? Just what the fuck. Right, um... Do I need to collect a, a swab of this, or take a photo, or both? Let's try both. Can't use that here. Okay, let's try the camera. Yep, the camera works. Sanctuary, okay. Written by the killer, I assume. But maybe not. Maybe it was the victim. Wherever the victim is. Right, I'm not seeing that symbol anymore. Are we done? I don't need to take another shot of this. I guess we're done. Okay, any other walls that need looking at? The floorboards, maybe? It, has the junk changed in the black light? This is a nice pile of junk. No, it's still a nice pile of junk. Right. We can go this way then, right? Ah, okay, yeah, a completely new room. And another bloodstain. Not getting a sample by dipping my finger in it. I know, I know. I tool. <laughs> right, yep, yeah, there's that symbol again. So, camera. Let's do this. I think this is actually technically a sequel to another game, by the way. This is a, a sequel to a game called Postmortem, but I think Still Life 1 and Still Life 2, they have their own little thing going on, their own separate story, and uh, you don't need to play Postmortem to understand this. Plus, this is the game that was recommended to me, so this is where I'm starting. Right. Another forensic swab? There you go. Great. Let's try not to get that confused with the other one. Are they separate? Oh, they are separate, okay. Yeah, one from the bedroom, one from the living room. Good stuff. And the symbol's gone, so let's see what else we can have a look at. Can we have a look at the... Right, we can have a look at the lamp. I need a tool before I can use this properly. Okay, d oh! I've only got the one. Okay, I'll, um, I'll go back in there and grab it in a minute. Dirty mattress, can't mess with that. Another wall? Yeah, something's up with this, but I think I might need the filter, so let me just go grab that. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and I can run. Oh. Oh, I guess I, I wasn't running before because I was holding the coffee, right? Didn't want to spill it everywhere. But, what is it? Just, yeah, just double click and we can run. That's really nice. Okay. Let's use the black light filter over the other lamp and let's see what that reveals. I need a tool before I can use this properly. I'm going to need to get used to doing this. <laughs> I keep thinking she's going to go in for a better look and then I need to use it, but no, I, I just need to use it when that symbol pops up. But, um, here we are. Right, now let's take another look at the wall. And let's give it another spray of luminol. There you go. Another word. Disturbed. What the fuck? <laughs> Maybe a fan of the band? Right, I think this warrants another photograph, doesn't it? Shame it isn't like a Polaroid camera. I guess we're going to have to wait for the film to be developed so we can look over all of it. I don't need to take another shot of this. No, I don't. All right, that's fine. That's cool. Okay, 666. We've got a, we've got a skull over here. Another wall. More that luminol? It looks great with the black light on. It kind of does. Right. Uh, luminol? Yep. Nope. <laughs> I can't seem to use it this time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there is no symbol in the top left, so, yeah, I guess, I guess we don't need to do anything here. We have an open window. Can't interact with that. Oh, that's just me taking the filter off, I suppose. Still can't have a look at the mattress. Everything else seems to be pretty normal. And I can't go beyond the lamp, so I guess that's the limit of the room. Um, right, let's let's grab the filter and let's try elsewhere, I suppose, right? Let's um, head back to Miller. Down that hallway. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I like this so far, actually. This is pretty good. I can't leave now. I still have work to do. Oh. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I guess this is the limit of the crime scene. Um... Well, uh, let's go back here, maybe? I didn't see anything I could manipulate in this area, which is a bit strange, considering how big it is, but... 
Oh, I don't know. Maybe let's let's just go speak with uh speak with Clarice Claire again, right? I'm done. Oh, we're done. All right. Good. Go put what you collected in my briefcase and come back here. I still need your help. Righto, will do. So that's what that symbol's for? Putting stuff back? I guess so. Oh, not everything. We're keeping hold of the camera and the tweezers for whatever reason. Alright, uh, I guess I'm ready. What do you need? Okay, all done and neatly packed. Great. Thanks a lot, sweetie. So, what's next? I need some shots of the body before we move things around and disrupt the original crime scene. Okay, Captain Janeway. Will do. Okay. So what can you tell me so far? Not much right now. Probably like the other four. Cause of death is drowning, but I'll make it official after the autopsy. She was stabbed numerous times and she was eviscerated. Nothing indicates a struggle or resistance on the part of the victim. My guess is she was unconscious during the stage of the assault. Can you walk me through what happened here? Not now. I'd rather do preliminary lab work first and also analyze the evidence you picked up. Right. I'll give you a briefing when I finish a few tests. Okay. I think you can remove the cloth from her face now. Aw, oh, you spoil me. <laughs> oh, that's why we kept hold of the tweezers. That makes sense. Look at the tattoo work on her skin. This girl liked pain. Hmm. I have a feeling she's a pro. I don't know why. Just call it a hunch. Which would be a first according to the killer's MO and profile. I'll run the victim's name through the database to see if we hit something. Okay. All right, yep. What's her name? According to the ID in her purse, it's Cynthia Woods. Now, can you take her picture without the rag on her face? I suppose so. Not really facing the right way, but I, I guess that qualifies. That's fine. <laughs> Do you still need me here? Not really. I just enjoy the company, but I can see you'd rather be somewhere else. Listen, I can handle things here on my own till the boys get here. Anyhow, you look tired as hell. Oh, thanks for letting me off the hook, but seriously, if you need me, I'll stay. It's fine, sweetie, really. You're not completely off the hook. I'll see you back at the morgue for my briefing. I wouldn't miss it for the world. See you soon. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, right. So, can we have a better look at this? Yes, we can. Right, wow. My god, she was badly beaten. Apparently so. Nice tattoo. I might get me one of those. And these are... Multiple are they... stab wounds in the chest area. I see. Yeah, quite a few. What about these, though? Like I said, she liked pain. Ah. Scarification tattooing on the arm. You sure that's what that is? Fair enough. And just... Bathtub filled with blood. I'm not going to peek in there. I don't want to pull a miller. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. Uh, do you need a, another close-up photo, maybe? we still got the camera. I don't need to take another shot of this. Fair enough, I guess. We got all we needed. Right. Are they icicles hanging above the bathtub? Bloody hell. This place is just a wreck, isn't it? Anymore? Did you really threaten to tie Miller to my 4x4 and... Yes, I did. And I will, too. <laughs> hey, I don't doubt it. No, she speaks with conviction there. Bloody hell, do not mess with this woman. <laughs> I think we're done here, to be perfectly honest. No, we're not. Oh, a it's toilet? Miller's Little Martians. Oh, right. <laughs> Just for a moment, I thought I was going to have a look down another toilet bowl, because, let's be honest, if you need someone to look down your toilet bowl, I'm your man. Or woman, in this case. Okay, so, do we put the camera back in here, or is this just I ours? I need to do this again. We're keeping the camera with us, okay. So, we're done here? Um, let's just take a quick tour of the place again, and make sure we didn't miss anything, I suppose. Right, so I suppose pretty soon, after she's done all her lab work and we've probably met at the morgue, we're going to get another coroner's report, right? A fifth one. 
We've already got four in the documents and I sort of glossed over them earlier, but I think right at the end of the video, we'll take a look. Back to Miller? Right! Let's go, Miller. Okay, where to? The office. What the- Whoa. Good save. I got you. Do you like them? Oh, sorry. Hey, everybody hurt! We're okay! Wow. This place really is a wreck. <laughs> Can we hop down or? There's no way I'm going down that way. Oh, okay. Getting to the office might be a little bit more difficult, I suppose. Uh, Miller, any ideas? I'm going to have to look for another way out of here. Okay, I'll wait here in case Claire decides to go down or someone tries to come up. So you're going to be useless then. Got it, got it. <laughs> um, actually, this is where I'm going to end this part of Still Life. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As I said right at the very beginning, if you want to see a part two, let me know by either commenting down below or by liking the video. Yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. Hopefully you are too. Maybe see you next time in a part two. Miller be the chicken shit leaning up against the fridge. Mash a pizza and French toast. I don't think you're helping. If you're trying to help me, <laughs> it's not working. Maybe you should take it easy with Miller. Take it easy? This is the second time I have to go through his vomit to see if there's any evidence hidden in the pile. <laughs> take it easy? No, I don't think so. Okay. Thanks for helping out. Wow, down in one. <laughs> and contaminating a crime scene. Brilliant. I can't use my hands to collect these. Of course not, of course not. I was I was just testing you. Luminal? Yep. Nope. 
Not really facing the right way, but I, I guess that qualifies, that's fine. Just for a moment, I thought I was going to have a look down another toilet bowl, because, let's be honest, if you need someone to look down your toilet bowl, I'm your man. Or woman, in this case. <laughs>